first of all, congratulations on jujitsu. It uh, what a what an incredibly fun action packed movie. It throws it takes me back to the Jackie Chan films. Awesome. That's well. That's great. I'm happy you felt that way. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, and did you did you serve as a, as a stunt coordinator on this film? I know you've done that before. Yes, yes. I'm. I mean, I I, I think I wore a lot of hats on this show. Um, lots of fun because I like getting involved in everything. Obviously, I come from a stunt background as well. So um, I did do some stunt coordinating. I over I kind of oversaw the team. That's what I did. We have a fantastic stunt coordinator, Jim from Thailand, and his whole team that came down, and he is incredible. We've worked with them on Kickboxer before, um, and now on Jujitsu. We also had Ryan Taran, who plays Brax um, uh, in the film. Well, Ryan is also a stuntman and a stunt coordinator, and he did some coordinating on the show as well. Um, and the, everybody kind of pitched in to design. So um, it was cool. Really, really cool. You know, you've got such a great cast in this. Obviously, Nick Cage is in it, but uh, I want to throw a little love out to Frank Grills. He's, he's just a great guy and, and uh, does mm -hmm. a lot of work. He does. He does. No, I had, I love working with Frank. It was really cool. As I found out who was going to be on the film, I mean, I just got more and more excited. That's just what the feeling was all the time, you know, from, you know, Nick Cage and Frank and, uh, and Tony. So obviously an incredible cast. And, and I want to throw it out there with our female cast. Our female cast is amazing. You know, between Juju Chen and Maria Adropolis. Oh, yeah. uh, no, we have tons of, tons of talent, uh, both A-list actors and, incredible physical talents well they're they're athletes and and they throw their heart and soul into into what they do and that's the only way to to be on a set absolutely no you have to love it you have to love the craft because you're there for hours on end and you have to you know especially in a film like this in a film like this i mean you're you're you are doing the action and you are doing the acting and there's expectations on a film like this that when you come into it, well, you will be doing a lot of your own stuff. And it's not always a stunt double that's going to step in to help you out, right? So yeah. our entire cast was down with that. Obviously, we had stunt doubles for some of the dangerous elements of the film, but um, everybody wanted to do as much as humanly possible and really get involved in, their, uh, in every scene that they were going to perform. So uh, a few moments that were really cool is, is such as like we were talking about Frank, even in his fight. I mean, we had, we had, we were there for a whole night doing uh, his major action piece. Uh, he never wanted to stop. You know, it, it's funny. Sometimes people get tired or whatever. They're not once that I hear Frank Grillo or Nick Cage or anyone say, yeah, OK, I'm tired. I'm going to take a break. No, they just said, OK, LA, like, we're back into it. Let's go. Let's keep on going. So I loved it. That's what professionals do. I have to, though, ask you, jujitsu is, is one of those original martial arts that hit the United States a long, long time ago, you know, mm -hmm. along with judo and, and then jujitsu. We never heard of it for a long, long time, you know, Krav Maga and all of that, mm -hmm. all the other, you know, Taishé. But coming back to jujitsu is really like coming back to really good home cooking. It is a wonderful art. <laughs> it is, it is. And it, it, it's a blend of everything, especially the way we approached it. I mean, when we spoke about it, um, Dimitri said, I don't, I'm going to, we, we're going to approach jiu-jitsu from its or origins, right? Mm -hmm. Which means if you, you kind of look at what we know about jiu-jitsu, we know it started a long time ago, but it got, got you know, it got, a, it has its roots in samurai arts for us in Japanese jiu-jitsu. So we kind of started from that point and then moved towards modern Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And that's why in the film, you have elements of everything blended together, which is really cool, which is what I love, you know, which is yeah. what I started in when I was 10 years old. It was Japanese jiu-jitsu or a Canadian version of Kanryu jiu-jitsu. And then from there into Brazilian jiu-jitsu when I was 18 years old and I've never stopped. Um, so this was such a great experience and a way to bring jiu-jitsu as a whole to the forefront. You know, it was fun. Tell me a little bit about your character that you're playing in it. His name is Jake. Um, what's he all about? Jake is uh, is a jujitsu master. He's probably a young young in the jujitsu group um, who comes in to face with the group to face Brax every six years. So he's been chosen this time to go in to battle. Um, obviously, he knows what he's getting into, but at battle, he decided, you know what? I may not want to do this. It's kind of you know possibly dying. I don't feel like it. I don't think that's cool. So he decides to run away instead, um, which turns out to be the bad thing to do because Brax unleashes to everyone at that point. So 
Jake has to, uh, from the point of the, from the start of the movie, discover who he is because he doesn't know who he is at this point. He has to discover, discover who he is, why he's there, understand who his allies are, overcome his fears, come to terms with him being a coward at the beginning and understand how to use his fear as fuel in order to come back and have the courage to face Brax. Um, so I think it, it, Jake is a really cool character to me because it, that's what martial arts is all about. Martial arts is about overcoming your fears, understanding your failures, using the lessons in your failures in order to evolve and to get the win. You know, so and as much as on a personal level as it is on a physical level, do you have both that are completely intertwined? Mm. And I think in this story, Jake has a has a great opportunity to learn so much from everybody in the jiu-jitsu team, from Wiley, um, who is his mentor and uh, and overcome his fears. What was it like working with Nicolas Cage? I, I, I would imagine he is a super professional. Absolutely. Oh, Nick, Nick is a pleasure to work with. I mean. He, uh, he came in the first day and wanted to start working on his stuff right away. So we worked for three hours on the first day. And what surprised me is that he told me, he says, hey, Alain, can, can we run the scene? And the one of the scenes that we were in together. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I, I was so happy that I had worked on it. Okay. So all of a sudden, and I, I was like, okay, ready to go. And Ryan's the one who told me later on, uh, we, we later on, he's like, dude, you actually knew all this stuff for the scene. It's like, yeah, thank God I worked on it. I, I didn't want to look like an idiot in front of Nick Cage. I'm a huge fan, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, it was, um, it was really cool to work with Nick because I'd been watching him since I was a kid. And what was inspiring is the fact that he is so passionate about his craft after so many years. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he brings everything he's got to the set, a positive energy. Um, he's very collaborative and just a pleasure to be around. Tell me a little bit about what, people are going to come out you know when they see this movie how, what are they going to leave with oh man they're going to leave with a big smile on their face that's what they're going to leave with you know i i find for me martial arts films like this and this in this case is a big sci-fi film it's an escape i see films as an escape when i watch a movie i go in and i say hey i want to forget about my day i want to turn my brain off i want to have i want to be entertained i want to laugh i want to be a little scared i want to be thrilled so this film offers everything everything that you want out of the films and i think the audiences will walk out of there having had a lot of fun and that's what we want that's the whole point you know when you were younger you had an idol it was jean-claude van damme mm -hmm. uh, and you finally got to work with him what was that like for you uh it was a dream come true i mean it's uh it's, it's like going full circle i started training in martial arts because i saw blood sports um and i was so impressed with the martial arts skills that Van Damme had, his physique. And I was like, oh my God, I got to be like that, you know? Uh, so we fast forward years later and having my first film being a remake of one of Van Damme's films and having him in the film that I'm starring in. Okay, you, 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 I mean, you couldn't write this stuff. In our last seconds, did Nick Cage give you any advice? Did you, did you see something or pick up a tip from him? Um, what I saw in Nick is his ability to very to, to, to take what the words on a script, to take all this and make it his own in such a special way. Every take is different. There's never one take the same. And all of a sudden he starts, you know, just throwing new stuff out there, mannerisms and all that kind of stuff. When you see him do this kind of stuff like this, it's like, I was like, wow, I would have not, never thought of doing that, you know? And uh, his ability to do that on his own, but not only that, is also to work with a director him and Dimitri were bouncing ideas back and forth. And all of a sudden he would take something Dimitri said because Dimitri had this vision. And all of a sudden he would like throw new stuff out there every take. And I was like, so, so impressive. I think that's what it is. I, he does with acting what I do with action. You know, you know it so well that I don't even think about the moves anymore. I'm just in the groove of what's going on. You know, telling, trying to tell the story through the moves. He is doing that with the words all the time. And that's what I, I got from him. And I, I guess one moment then that I was so happy about is our last scene together um, is this more little intimate scene where we're, we're around a fire, a campfire, and he's being the mentor. And at the end of the, the take, and it's the take I think that was in, the, 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 it's the take that's in the film. But at the end of the take, I remember him just looking at me and going, and I was like, wow, I just got a thumbs up from Nick. That's all you <laughs> need in life, just a thumbs up from Nick Cage. 
<laughs> it's a uh, pleasure uh, chatting with you, and let's run into each other again. Uh, hopefully, when this is all over, we can uh, grab a cup of coffee or something together in L.A. I would love it. That'd be awesome. This celebrity interview is sponsored by... I'm Annette Severella with Pia Anderson Moss Hoyt, Utah's leading entertainment law firm serving clients nationwide. We provide solid, attentive representation, focusing on minimizing risk, reducing cost, and protecting the reputation and privacy of our clients. Our goal is to provide you with the legal representation you need to make the right decisions and to protect you and your creative works. Call or email me for a free consultation.